Um, I, I do believe in, in a broad base, but I think it's important for people to understand. And this is um, not really debatable very heavily anymore. Uh, you'll still get occasional debate on this, but plant-based omega-3s are 18 carbons. Human-based are 20 and 22 carbons. The, the precursor fatty acids, for lack of a better term, um, um, that come in from plants are 18 carbon. Uh, linoleic eventually becomes the arachidonic acid, which is inflammatory, and linolenic is supposed to be converted to EPA and DHA, which are the, really the, the things that we need. Um, the conversion is estimated at being approximately 5% from 18 carbons, and it's outcompeted by the omega-6 linoleic fatty acids. So a lot of this has to do with what else you're taking. If you're taking in a high degree of omega-3s, but you take in also a high degree of omega-6s, the, the efficiency with which they're converted to their end products is not the same. They're using the same five enzymes to do it, and essentially you're shutting down your omega-3s by having a high. So, uh, uh, for instance, a raw food vegan diet that's high in, ome in omega-6s like avocados. Um, this avocado has something like 30 to 1 omega-6 to omega-3. A very poor source of omega-3 is a great source of omega-6s. I love avocados. I love the fat and, and the nutrition in avocados, but I don't like the omega-6s. Uh, so, in a sense, the simple answer is eat more omega-3s, however you do that, whether it's fish-based, and the, remember, marine are 20, 20 and 22 already, so you don't have to have any conversion. Supplementation with omega-3 fatty acids, I'm fine with that. I do a lot of that myself. I, I have a hard time eating enough omega-3s to get into that 60%, 70% ratio that I like to see, and so do most of my patients. So I'm a big proponent of using supplements. Uh, can it be done with food alone? Sure. Uh, uh, the Inuits do it. The, the Aleuts do it. The Okinawans, uh, Japanese fishing populations in Okinawa do it. Uh, but they're heavy on omega-3 and low on omega-6. So it's a lot of it is what you eat that determines you know, how much omega-3 you need. Interestingly enough, if you go on a high-fat ketogenic diet, what you find is your body starts using these terrible saturated fats that none of us are supposed to eat. It uses them primarily as fuel, and it actually preserves your membrane omega-3 fatty acid level. This is a little-known fact, but it is very much... Uh, discerned by what other things you eat. Uh, you mentioned soaking nuts and seeds. Yeah, I like to do that. It gets rid of the phytic acid and some of the other anti-nutrients, um, especially when the seeds and beans, if you eat those. Um, but again, I have found you know, very dissimilar diets producing the same types of ultimate results in very positive fashion. So I'll say it one more time. I think managing your insulin secretion is the key thing. I think if you manage insulin secretion, your body will preserve essential fats. It'll use the saturated uh, fats and the short chain fats like coconut oil and medium chain fats like coconut oil, excuse me, and the shorter chain fats that come along with these foods as fuel and they'll never see uh, the inside of an artery. You know, they'll all be burned up in your mitochondria.